What is up everybody, Fanta here, and you are watching FantaVision now. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these Rollercoaster Tycoon World update videos. In fact, I'm already almost a month late for their updates, which is saying a lot with how frequent their updates really are. Um, I missed one update in over a month of not doing this. So, they've basically, let's go back real quick, they've basically just done holiday updates, and they just add a whole bunch of garbage that nobody cares about. So they did upgrade to the new Unity engine, congratulations. Um, that made some fixes, made the game run a little bit smoother, but there's so many more bugs, and there's so many texture problems, and the game does not look this good in my opinion. Maybe it's just this model that looks good, but the rest of the game looks like bland garbage. So we're looking at the Valentine's Day update here. What does it bring? Does it fix the game? Let's find out. So, we've got the Chocolate Wonders restaurant, that's cool, new restaurant, fine with that. Romantic Fence, what? Romantic Fence End, okay. Romantic Couple Statue, this stupid looking thing. Woman's got wings for some reason, not really sure what's going on there. Um, lovely Heart Light, Romantic Light, Decor Birdhouse, Romantic Bench, a lovely trash can, okay. A chocolate box trash can. I feel like a chocolate bathroom would be more appropriate. Uh, a swan fountain. The problem with most of these assets they added to the game is that this kind of crap, um, this is all very holiday themed. And the problem with holiday themed stuff is you're only gonna use it during the holidays. Like, when you want a romantic bench, or a lovely trash can, or even a chocolate box, I guess chocolate box, you could do like in the, kind of like fantastical or kitty area. Um, Swan Fountain could have its uses, Chocolate Wonders restaurant's pretty neat, but the rest of it, it's just kind of garbage. Um, I guess the birdhouse is, I think I said that already. Anyway, uh, let's look at the bug fixes. This is really what needs to be done with the game. Nobody cares about these new assets they're adding. I mean, there's not even a new ride that they added. They added a restaurant, and that's basically the only thing of note that they actually added to the game. What do they fix? Uh, blocker. Game gets stuck in an infinite loading when returning the main menu from Mission 1-1. So that means... <laughs> so that means uh, it was a problem that the first mission of the campaign... The very first mission would freeze people, so that was some people's very first impression of the game. That's great. Uh, at least they fixed that. That's good. I never had that problem, but that's good they fixed it. Um, invisible autocomplete node. I don't know if I ever had that problem. I did have problems with the autocomplete being stupid, and then trying to edit the autocomplete was a pain in the ass. Uh, crashed mission 1-1 one, one again. Look at that. Um, game hangs after deleting a medium or large path that clips through the limit fence, changing the path. What? Okay. Uh, screen briefly turns white, first time selecting a heat map filter. It's not a huge bug, but it's nice that they fixed it just to keep transitions smoother. Grammatical errors. That's pretty funny. In the descriptions, info box rotation does not show up. Okay. All rides will show up as closed when loading a park. I didn't have that problem, but I haven't played the game in a while. I'm going to do another gameplay pretty soon. I know you guys still watch those uh, more than anything else. I'm not really sure why. I think my, one of my Roller Coast Tycoon World videos I put up um, a little bit ago has more views than Zelda as of making this video. Interesting. Pathing paths and cues can be created unrealistically low over or under. What? Uh, after modifying a path... To a new texture, the path is no longer selected. I haven't ever had that problem. Um, I think this is the PXP, I think is the building thing. I didn't really do much of that. Um, looks like mission 1.2 also got screwed up. Didn't have those problems. Prevent forbidden characters from being used in file names. So does that mean... They... Now we're getting rid of symbols and file names. Or they got rid of the fact that you couldn't put those symbols in. I'm not really sure what that update is. Some scenery cannot be placed displayed as selected. I'm not really sure what that is. The wondrous arch is labeled as global, or, global scenery 
Well, it should be adventure. Oh, that's a huge update right there. Good job for fixing that, guys. Um, terrain, the coasters, ports levitate. When the okay, uh, offline screen is missing. I'm not really sure what the offline screen is. Um, this isn't an online game yet, even though they did promise multiplayer. By the way, guys, um, if you guys bought this game, demand multiplayer. They advertised it. They need to have it in the game. Broken rides do not always have a wrench UI icon. So, nothing really, I don't know. I didn't see anything about frame rate glitching. I didn't see anything about uh, resetting your park. In fact, this update might have reset my park's fame rank again. Because I noticed every single time they did an update, I'd lose my fame rank. And of course, fame rank helps with how many guests are in your park. And if you've got a low fame rank, you're not going to have as many people. So when I had a bunch of people and a really high fame rank, low to the game, low fame rank, lost a shitload of people. So really fu frustrating to have these updates actually backtrack your progress in an already frustrating game. So they need to fix that. And yeah, I need to play this game again to see what else they need to fix. Because quite frankly, I don't remember all the problems. It's It's been a while since I've played this game, and it's I haven't missed it, going to be honest. I haven't played Planet Coaster in a while either. That game's fun, but I just, I don't know. I've been playing Zelda, and that's about it. Breath of the Wild. So much fun. And then, of course, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Had a couple videos go up with that. I'm going to go ahead and plug myself for the rest of this video. If you guys want to stop watching, that's fine. I don't blame you. Uh, just kind of go over what I've been doing. So yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn. I've got another episode going up um, a day or two from now. So that's cool. I got this video going up today. Gonna keep trying to get videos up every day. Hasn't been working out as you know, as I planned lately. Just because uh, the whole Switch thing. and I can't monetize Breath of the Wild. So I'm going to make a weird outro for it. I'm going to be like dancing to a bunch of copyright music so Nintendo doesn't take my money. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, have a fantastic day.